بروکی چې خوای جوړوې روغوای تکړاوای صحت کی وای مینه محبت کی وای دستای کی وای پکای کی وای زی تو سی پتنګړه کا کای زنن دیتا ازکیرا خوری سریم چې سلام میډیا کی کور کی زدل ته خپل کور کی ما کړیم او مصر مصیبا کی خدای دو وکی چې تو سی تا خوندر کی زکیرا سیستر تینک یو فور گیوینګ می ا سپیس فور شیرینګ یور پریشس ټایم اند گیوینګ می ا چانس ټو بی پارټ اف یور لولی کمیونیټی Thank you very kindly. Thank you so much, Nadima. Jazakallah for you giving us your the opportunity to grace us with your presence and your beauty and your kindness. We really appreciate you. that. And you being watched by the community in Afghanistan and other parts of the world. So uh, you can do your greeting as well. And of course, I will do the greeting for your community as well. Assalamu alaikum, people of Afghanistan. On behalf of all the people in Lodium, we really thank you for sending Nadima um, to our community and to our country to grace us and to tell us more about your country and the suffering and the entire Uh, things that's going on in there we really appreciate this uh, information and we are welcoming all the awareness and inshallah if we work together inshallah allah take us to greater heights and um and we can sort out all the problems that our ummah is facing yes. okay i mean i mean Um assalamu alaikum I'm Zaki Bika with um on behalf of Salam Media and with me today is Nadima an Afghan Canadian humanitarian activist that has been on tour for almost a week in South Africa with her lovely companion Maryam Mia and uh, for those of you that don't know Maryam Maryam is one of the top presenters on Salam Media and if you haven't tuned in to her show it's called the Mid Morning Show Mid Morning Talk by Maryam Mia and I think you all should get in get involved listen to her talk shows she discusses very pertinent issues so if you haven't been there go on to Salam Media website and get in touch and start listening to her talk shows jazakallah for that maryam okay as usual lodium is always willing to accept awareness and activist and to show them our generosity and um our hospitality and this is not a different circumstance with me right now is nadima assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wa alaikum assalam zakira khuristani ma shay khuda da wakti khawai jurwai rughwai takrawai sahat ki wai mina mohabbat ki wai dastai ki wai pukai ki wai zi to sipatinga ka kai thank you so much zakira sister and thanks to salam media for having wonderful sisters like yourself and mariamia in their community so important to have women that have kind voices and that have empathy which is so much needed in our community and thank you uh, to all your community and all the listeners for joining thank you so much thanks to your husband who's been so supportive <laughs> we need to empower our men you know absolutely absolutely <laughs> so um nadima i've been following all your interviews with the many that you did with salam media was buzz, uh, buzz africa with um south africa uh, safm and i realize that you are such a warm and wonderful and lighthearted person so i wanted to change the whole narrative of my interview and i wanted to dissect N- nadiva and not call it grace anatomy maybe call it nadiva's anatomy oh, and yes. i want to <laughs> and i want to know what is it that makes nadima tick as a human being not as an activist so 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 that is what i what i want to do took you many word turns me off like when i'm ready to bring war to you is yes. that well first first i i understand the language that's been used in the communities in south africa and around the world there's a uh, words that have been completely diluted and they've lost their purpose so i stay away from that language like activist feminist i yes. feel like they've lost its purpose yes. and now they've been used against hum- humanity especially yes. family structure yes. so for me i'm just in adima and i understand when i was coming uh, mariam said nadima so how do i introduce you? i said just nadima i said now nah. i said okay humanitarian okay. so hum- well i'm for humanity for communities uh, creating uh, honestly 
um, greatness. To me, greatness in this context is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirming our greatness for our oneness. Oneness as in Allah again ahad, but yes. in this context, family. Yes. I think that is so important. We need to refocus on where we started and why we're here and where we're going. And that is the family. The family as in the community, the language, the food, the unity, supporting each other, building each other. So that's what I'm really here. And of course, see to come and see that in South African community yes. and learn from it yes. and see how you all are united, how you support each yes. other, how are women voices are heard, how are the men supporting and how can I take and by taking that and bringing it to my community because my country has been through so much, the yes. people, we've been broken. We're not a poor country, nor are we poor people. We're yes. one of the richest land in the world mm -hmm. and we are one of the richest people because of our patient our land is obviously filled with so many resources yes. and our people are rich because of the forgiveness they have the patience they mm -hmm. have and the effort they put into everyday challenge that they faced with yes. despite being targeted based on religion culture every tool has been used at us yes. as opposed to empower us and uplift us yes. so i pray to take all that and of course, you're asking me what, to, I'd rather tell you what inspires me. Yes. Because that's positive. Yes. That will hopefully inspire another sister, another okay. brother. What uplifts me is when people are good to me. Mm -hmm. I think more than ever, what's important, not giving something, but teaching. Yes. Showing through action mm -hmm. how we can uplift each other. That's what I'm also part of hopefully to receive from the women like yourself yes. and the women in South Africa and different mm -hmm. communities is how you reached your status. How did you become in a peaceful community? Mm -hmm. What are the struggles? I don't want to hear about the struggles. It's all yes. gone. It's in the past. It's forgiven. Yes. But now, what can I take from your successes story? That to is a plan. Yes, to move forward in a positive direction Absolutely. for an empowering community. Absolutely. So that is that's what uplifts me. That what makes me smile. You know, okay. that's what <laughs> Okay. So 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 then the next question, what makes you cry, Najima? When you when you lay in bed at night and you can't fall asleep on your pillow, what makes you cry? You know, crying is such a privilege. Mm -hmm. Because in Afghanistan, I am joyful to be part of a community, to be welcome, to be trusted with and with uh, the food, the language, the clothes. I'm grateful to have a belonging. Today is a heritage day. Yes. I feel grateful yes. and humbled and proud to say I'm an Afghan woman mm -hmm. and this is what we make. Yes. And it's still alive yes. and it's still living yes. and it will continue mm -hmm. at all cost. Um, so that gives me joy. But of course, what saddens me is the challenge we're faced with. Mm -hmm. And even that I don't get to do. I don't get to sit and cry because I have to stay strong yes. and make sure I have a solution for my widows mm -hmm. and my orphans. Yes. I have women that husbands are being murdered, mm -hmm. son has been murdered mm -hmm. in the name of because they looked a certain way, mm -hmm. they didn't fit the, a certain a narrative, a certain foreign yes. uh, uh, looks. So they've been murdered and they've been killed. And so when I, I will talk to one woman, they'll say, yes, Nadima, I made these dresses. Can you make sure they go in the market? Can you sell it for mm -hmm. me? I'm like, okay, I'm happy. Like, yes, she's, she's doing business. Yes. And then I'll have another woman. They're like, Nadima, can you give me some oil mm -hmm. and uh, some bread? My daughter is dying. And my son is saying, we're hungry. We don't know how we're going to live tonight. Mm -hmm. So I don't have that privilege to say, oh, my God, and cry. Yes. Because I have to be strong. Look and look. She looks up to me. Yes. She expects me to bring her something. Absolutely. She's telling me, you've come from a country that claims they care about humanity mm -hmm. and women empowerment like Canada. Mm -hmm. So you being here then means you've come here to do something. Yes. So if I break down with her... Yes. I cannot. I have to uplift her. Yes. I have to say, yes, we're going to do it. We're going to find a solution. And whatever bit I have, I have to share. So I don't have that. But yes, I am grateful, but I'm also sad for my community. But I am happy that I am part of it. And that gives me hope. Yes. And that makes me look something to look forward to the future. To the future. But I don't have, I, I bet you can cry. And, and, you have yes. a, and you have an environment. It's quiet. It's yes. peaceful. Yes. And, and you, you can express, yes. even we take that for granted, to be able to we express do. how we feel. Mm -hmm. My women, 
My men, we don't have that. We're trying to survive. We're trying to dodge from the drones yes. these days. Do you know they so, have drones in my country? Yes, so so you, so you basically in survival mode all the time. Yes, yes, my people are. And when you're in that com- being in that community, I am part of that. So we're constantly like, okay, who's going to get killed yes. today? In what name? What is the justification? So we're not at peace still. Mm-hmm. We st- do you know we have drones that are killing my people? So we're still not completely been left alone to live our lives, you know? <laughs> so, um, Nadima, how, how do you deal? You, the way you're explaining, you love, you basically loving looking over your shoulder. How do you deal with the pressure and the stress? you see when i was training with my brother my brother's all in fitness and Mm -hmm. i love lifting weights you know it's very empowering for me because it's so healthy and it's strengthening so i realized (laughs) that life is like the gym okay the 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 harder the weights you lift the stronger Mm -hmm. you're gonna become so i affirm to myself i comfort myself by telling myself nadima the harder they punch the stronger you got to become. Okay. Those punches are to strengthen you mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, we're all going to die. Yes. And we're going to take nothing. Nothing. But the only thing that you're going to leave is the memory of what you created with the people. people. So if you created good, good that's deeds. what you're going to take. Yes. Is yes. that it? That's it? So for me, I look at every punch, every pressure as a strengthening towards my greatness, which is Allah. That's what I do because I don't have any other choice. I have to find a way. So I look at every punch as a way to, as encourage. Okay, Nadima, this is your preparation. And if everybody could do it, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Yes. So some of us have to take the punches. Yes. But those punches, if we look at them as a way, because it's all in the mind. It's mm-hmm. how you you take everything. You can either take it as a negative or positive. Yes. But if you're paving the way for the truth. Yes. And you, you're removing the dark energy or destruction yes. or whatever you want to call that is creating an isolation. Mm-hmm. You, have to be, have, you have to have very strong muscles yes. and strong back to throw those punches and all that darkness away. So that's how I look at life. You know? Okay, <laughs> mashallah. A very important question, uh, Nadima. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know you've been here for a week. Um, yes. <laughs> What is, what is, how do you feel about a female toxicity? You, oh, is this the first world problem here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't, yeah. Uh, I under, so you're asking me if I, I do, do, you experience do we experience that, that in side? Afghanistan? Because uh, I'm sure you've noticed it in South Africa, the comp- in South Africa, the competition amongst women, the refusal to work together, the, the the claiming of titles. So there's been so- gossip happening. Is there rumors? <laughs> <laughs> they call it gupshop. No, honestly, I can only speak for my community. Mm-hmm. I am so grateful and in an awe of some of you beautiful women. I am really amazed, to be honest, to see the African uh, Muslim women mm-hmm. uh, for a couple of factors. 90% of them have husband. Yes. Mashallah, because uh-huh. I also lived in the West. It's rare when you see a strong, powerful woman holding a home, yes. husband, children, children, grandchildren, and a position, and she's voicing for the those that need the voices. Yes. So I'm very happy to see that. It affirmed to me that Nadima, maybe you should start thinking about husband. Mm-hmm. I wanna, I'm really grateful to this for that, because these women affirmed to me that you can have a husband and, and children, and still, still be, the be the voice. You don't have to just die unmarried, yes. because that's what I had, yes. to be honest with you. I know a lot of my family and my brothers and my cousins are happy to hear that. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Because we get her, we get <laughs> this is husband. my honest truth, because the journey, yes, I want the narrative to be corrected around the world, mm-hmm. not just from Afghanistan. Yes. A lot of countries, a lot of communities are, are being targeted now by the social media that we thought was our voice. Yes. Now it has become another form of... Absolutely. Exactly. So, I, yes, that was important, but I also realized in this journey, it also became a self-journey as well, that, mm-hmm. oh, I can learn from these women. Yes. So, yes, we will have challenges. Mm-hmm. The darkness is always looking out for those that have the most light mm-hmm. because the darkness also needs some form of you know, yes. you know, so, yeah, so we have to be careful of that, mm-hmm. but we have to also have sabr. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. We have to be patient because I know in this community, women are also facing challenges. Yes. So I know they will have ups and downs, but overall, ladies are not that bad. No. You know, for to welcome me, to bring me here. Yes. And also, I also have a certain narrative. Mm-hmm. I also have a certain community I come from. Mm-hmm. I'm an Afghan woman. Yes. We are saving our culture. Mm-hmm. We have culture that is made up of so many beliefs mm-hmm. that have come to our communities. Yes. So we're still trying to clean up. Okay. I am not... Often the world expects me to speak for Afghanistan, mm-hmm. the Muslims, yes. the Hindus. Yes. The, I said, I'm just trying to share my narrative, yes. how I am experiencing. And I think it's also important to address this to all the women, that we must try to lead by our own example, just mm-hmm. like our great men and women like Khatija Radlanha. In this context, it's the Muslim community. So the our prophet, they were leading by example. They yes. were not saying, I am here. They're like, how is this person so good? Yes. Can we know how they're doing it? So let's also look at our action yes. and also not put pressure to represent one person for the whole. I don't know all of Afghanistan. I haven't been to 34 provinces in Afghanistan. I don't speak all the languages of Afghanistan. Yes. I only learned Dari, like we call it Farsi and Dari in Afghanistan the last mm-hmm. year and a half because my mom speaks Dari. Okay. So it's, I'm still new as well. Mm-hmm. So let's be kind and let's try to understand and look at the big picture. Yes. The fact that I'm an Afghan Pashtun woman in South Africa sitting with you, Zakira. Yes. That's amazing. So tomorrow we'll have more and more. Absolutely. Maybe you will have a sister that only speaks Dari. Yes. And that is in Jesus and Tisha and she's from Ghani. Yes. That's okay too. Absolutely. So I'm only sharing the little bit that I know. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a pressure for me to present certain communities. But no, I'm only here to try my best to share the little bit that I know as my truth. And hopefully take the truth you carry and make it a brighter light for everybody. For everybody. You know? Inshallah. I mean... <laughs> um, if you, um, we're going to end with this, Nadima. If yes. you have to return to Afghanistan, I will. what? <laughs> okay. I will when, home. when you, when you return to Afghanistan, what is your fondest memories? I love your hospitality. I will miss the Roish Bush. Uh, the, the, how do you say your tea? The Roish Bush? Roy Bush. Roy Bush. Roy Bush. I have it every day. Yes. Everybody's so proud to share that with me. Okay. I will take your hospitality because we have the same. Mm-hmm. And also, I know you faced with the challenges of electricity, which made me feel good. <laughs> you I- do that. Yes. <laughs> no, because we have that too. We okay. have that challenge too. Okay. Uh, and also remembering that it hasn't been easy for any of the people here. I went to Constitution Hill. Yesterday, you know, the Constitution Hill was very emotional for me mm-hmm. because, yes, we have to remember the challenges of our community faces. Mm-hmm. We must forgive by welcoming more and learning and remembering that what we have didn't come overnight. Yes. And we must share it. That's yes. the reason Allah gives us the platforms, mm-hmm. the voices, mm-hmm. because we are the vessel. I don't like to say slave because Allah didn't create us slaves. Yes. We are the vessel to transmit the information, the revelation mm-hmm. that our prophets, they were the last, but we have responsibility yes. to continue to carry those messages. Now they call YouTube messenger journalists, but at the end of the day, we're blessed with the voice, voice. and we have that responsibility. So I've, I am happy that you sisters got together, all of you, especially Maryam. You know, one of the reasons that, it's, that shook me is because she said salam to me. Okay. I've been doing so much media. If you Google me, yeah. I am all over and I'm grateful for that. She was the first person to say, Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm like, eh, eh, what? That still is existing. Yes. No, it, it, it That it was has, so, but yeah. I am, I'm happy to see. It. And that drawn me to her. Mm-hmm. And, and also for her to say, Alhamdulillah. And this is the language that is, we need to use more because as I said that we need to, embrace all the values and the language and the words Absolutely. that gives us coziness yes. and, and give us comfort. Warmth and yes. fuzzy moments. Yes. Yes. yes, and I pray that one day, which I hope very soon, that I'll invite Maryam and yourself to Afghanistan. I mean, and I will sit in the same way I mean, and say, how do you feel being in Afghanistan? Because that's what I've learned. And also your hospitality and the support you have for each other and the way you've kept your community close to each other. I know you all have challenges and that's okay. You must have those challenges. You must have those challenges with sisters and brothers who sometimes forget where they are. Yes. 
That's why maybe Allah brought me also here to remind you of your, your community yes. and where you had been yes. and where you're going. So I, I take all the positive memories and I take that it's not easy. All of you sisters and the community has reminded me that it will be not easy for us to have one community. Mm -hmm. And this community, South African community, had challenges. Mm -hmm. they, were, they were repressed because of a color or language or yes. food. The Indian community, I learned that they were put in these ghettos. Yes. And look, mashallah, you guys created a beautiful heaven for yourself. And you overcame that. Yes. So I know that we're going to be okay too. And now that I will have the support of you all, you powerful sisters, I know I'm going to be good in Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely going to be good. I'm going to end with this. I saw a clip of Lady Di doing an interview yesterday. And um, they asked whether she would ever be queen or does she want to be queen. And she said, or her reply was, her response was, she doesn't want to be queen. She wants to be the queen of hearts in people. So... This is truly the woman, as Hello. Lady Di said. Really, you Thank are the you. queen of hearts. We yeah. really appreciate it. We need it. the kings to do it. <laughs> we need the kings and the queens. It's No, no, honestly, this is important. Thank you. Very lovely said. Very beautifully said. But we also need to remember that we need to rise our nations together. Together. The mother, the father, the, the family. Yes, yes, we need to do. We need to remember that I'm not... I'm nothing without my brothers in yes. Afghanistan. I am nothing without my sisters in Afghanistan. Absolutely. I am here because of the the platform, the social media I use, and they liked it. Yes. They loved it. They said, good for you. And I was like, oh, the affirmation they gave me. And I'm here because of that. So all of the community matters. The king is chosen by the people, and so is the queen. So they're both important, and you're also a beautiful queen. Thank you so much. <laughs> I mean, Jazakallah so much. We're heading off to our function right now, and we've had a lovely talk with Thank Nadima, you. and she's dressed all in heritage outfit. Yes. And inshallah, we'll catch up again. Thank As you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Zakira sister, for having me. Thanks to Salam Media. Thank you, all of South Africa. Continue to shine. Continue to rise each other. Honest to God, I'm telling you, remember this. If you want goodness, you have to give it. And you want to feel high and elevated, elevate someone. This is the greatest feeling in the world. And you made me feel that today. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. I mean, thank you, Jazakallah. As-salamu alaykum.